Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 78 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Alright, we're still knee-deep into Arc V taking on Yuya as Aura. He's got that nice blue apple there, by the way. I don't know if it's edible. Green apples, yellow apples, red apples, and now blue apples. <laughs> Here I'm hitting all the main colors. And it looks like what I gotta deal with involves ritual cards. Oh yeah, Prediction Princess Tarot Tray. Or Prediction Princess, there we go. This one has a flip effect. You can add one ritual monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. It won't even... Oh, that's right, it's five stars. Duh. Prediction Ritual. This card is used to ritual summon Prediction Princess Tarot Tray. You must also trade monsters from your hand or field whose total level is equal 9 or more. During your main phase, except during the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, add one Prediction Princess Tarot Prediction Princess monster from your deck to your hand. And I got two of those. Shining Angel will definitely come in handy to bring in a free special summon. Then I could probably use Manju real soon as well. Pendulum Call. Well, I got rid of the swordfish. Fusion Conscription? I don't like the looks of this. Oh, I definitely don't like the looks of this at all. Brought in a Runeye's Pendulum Dragon so soon. And a Time Gazer Magician. Like, are you done? Is it finally my turn? Okay, this only works if it's normal or flip summoned. Alright, I say the best thing for me to do is bring in another Shining Angel. Oh yeah, the other monster can't keep up with it. Oh wait, it gets two attacks? Well, then I guess I'll just use Senju. Manju is pretty much the best one because you can select one ritual monster or a ritual spell. Prediction Princess Arrow Sylph. Okay, flip, you can add one ritual spell card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. I still can't activate this because I need the ritual monster. In order for me to get the Ritual Monster, I had to activate this effect. Breakthrough Skill? Okay, well, I guess I'm not doing that then. Shoot. Okay, we run into a bit of a problem. Because now I need to find another way to get the Ritual Monster out there. And right now, I can't do that. Can this thing attack twice every time? Apply the appropriate effect, depending on the... Original level, the monster uses fusion material that was not Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Level 4 or lower, this card can make up to 2 attacks on monsters during each battle phase. Oh my god, if you select a 5 or higher, that's 3 attacks! None of these are in defense position, so I can't use that. This didn't get me a ritual monster, but unfortunately, it's level 5. I'm pretty much at a dead draw. Like, I think I've already lost. Yeah, I definitely lost. I 
Might as well add this to the hand, but it doesn't matter. Oh my god. I did not stand a chance. That's the thing about story mode. You can pretty much be guaranteed to lose no matter what you draw. Because that was like the perfect setup that Yuya got. Alright, now I have different cards. Wait a minute. Target up to two flip monsters in your graveyard. Special summon them to your opponent's side of the field. And face up or face down. Well, I could do that on any flip effect monster that has, say, 800 attack. And then bring it face up. And I don't think Yuya has any flip monsters. Okay. If this is flipped, you can special summon one level 3 or higher to flip monster from your hand or deck and face down defense position. Also, you cannot activate monster effects for the rest of this turn, except prediction princess monsters. This is probably the one I want! If it gets me a special summon after flipping... Oh, he's going for that rune eyes right away! Yes, I'll activate that effect. I'll definitely need a monster. Ooh! You can change all face-up attack position monsters your bone controls to face-up defense position monsters. Monsters changed to defense position by this effect cannot change their battle positions! That could come in handy for later. But I'm gonna go with this one instead. Because it's level 5. Oh, and I get the ritual monster anyway, so it didn't matter. God damn it. It's like that every time. You contribute one perform power monster, inflict damage your opponent equal to the level it had on the field times 100. If face down, well, it's not face down, so I don't have to worry about that. I do have to worry about that 1500 attack, though. So this could be an issue. Right, let's hold off for now. Fusion Conscription again. Oh no, now he's got everything he needs for the sum Fusion Summon. So now he'll get to destroy both of them. Might as well make it easier for me to draw what I do need. Okay, there's my other Shining Angel. Perfect. And that one will get destroyed too. Maybe it's better off not activating that effect, now that I think about it. Performapal... Elephammer? Never seen that one. Okay, I think I have an idea. It's going to involve this. Reverse reuse might come in handy real soon. So I'm thinking Prediction Princess Petal Elf. I can change him to the face up defense position, and monsters change to defense position by this effect cannot change your battle positions. Unless somehow that gets negated too. Is 
Because that defense is 2,000, and that one's 1,800. Might as well do this now. Oh, come on! You had a breakthrough skill! Oh, fine. I guess I'll just set another one. Good thing I drew that second one. I swear to God, if you have another one of those... Okay, I think we're in the clear. Oh, wait a minute. This gives me an idea. Let me go with this. Oh, of course he tributes them. He gets an odd eyes pendulum dragon, so guess what? Now it's useless. He has an answer to every single one of my plays. Every single one. I think I actually want this one in attack mode, because it'll have to be flipped up. I hope it'll be flipped up. Wait, what does that do again? Oh, either way, it's in defense mode. I don't know if I'm doing things right. But I gotta do something. Does that effect work on face down defense position monsters? No. Well, yes, it does. Okay, I get a ritual spell. But this could be too little too late. Okay, once per turn, during your end phase, you can special summon one flip monster from your end of graveyard and face down to defense position. You can only use one of the following effects of Prediction Princess Tarot Tray once per turn and only once during that turn. During either player's turn, you can target one face down monster on the field, change the face up attack position. During either player's turn, you can target one face up monster on the field and change it to face down defense position. So this is why I need that monster now. Please activate it. Thank you. I might have hope yet once I get this monster in play. So let's make this work. We'll activate this. I gotta get rid of this. Because this is not going to give me enough any other way. It has 2700 attack on its own. Okay. Let's see. What should I do? Take a look at the effects here. That's 2,000. So it may be worth my while. Should I just attack with it? Because I can do life point damage. I 
Dude, if, as long as this is on the field, I got a pretty good play. Here, I'm gonna put that face down. Just because. Just to get rid of it, really. I just want to see if he had anything else, like, face down that I had to worry about. And I, I could do this at the end of every turn, that's right. Oh, that'll go well if I were to use this all the time. Oh, let's go with this one for now. Actually, you know what? Let's go with this one. It says high defense. Would my opponent know about the defense value? I think he would. You son of a biscuit. He had a dark hole! He had a dark hole the whole time! Oh my god! Well, I can still activate the flip effect. In a breakthrough skill, that also works when it's in the graveyard? Oh, piss off! How does he have every good play now? Swords are concealing light. When this card resolves, all monsters your opponent controls when this card was activated are changed to face down defense position. Monsters your opponent controls cannot change your battle positions. Destroy this card during your second standby phase after activation. Well, I got nothing else to do. Uh, breakthrough skill is just like. The gift that keeps on giving in a bad way. Pendulum Call. Oh, he's gonna start using the Pendulum Summoning now? No. For some reason, he is not. You only just put one of them out there. You could have used the other one. What the hell? I could have got a mod eyes back. So unfortunately, it brings it back to the opponent's side of the field only. Like, if I had just had the ability to bring this out, I might have had a chance. Pre preparation of rites. Add one ritual spell from your deck to your hand. And add one ritual monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand whose name is listed on that. Oh. So that could have gotten me both the spell card and the monster. I mean, that's nice. But I can't bring him out. I have nothing. I'm, I'm boned. If I can survive one more turn. And I definitely cannot. Well, this sucks. Oh, let's give this one more try. How am I still stable doing this? How? I don't understand. Like, it's not even fast torture. It's slow torture. Because you just gotta hope against all hope you got what you need, and then you never do. Now, if this gets me the spell, I'm gonna use this to get me the monster.
All right, your move, Yuya. Is he gonna go for Rune Eyes on his very first turn? He's going for it. He's going hard for it. Oh, he used Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon? This only gets him like four and eight. Weird flex, but okay. Well, that also works, because now he can get the other magician out there. Well then, that certainly showed me. Huh. I don't know how this is gonna work, but let's try it out. Is he gonna rush the field? Yep! Looks like he's gonna try to rush the field. One to eight? I could get him almost everything. And a part Naga. Spring Goose got banished. Dude, what is even going on? What is this convoluted play? Like, surely you're not putting them all in attack mode because you think you can just win now, are you? Is that what we're going on here? Like, do you think you already have this one? I bet I didn't have the other one, because that would have been great. Well, I pretty much have to do this now. Yeah, I can use this as my special summon at the end phase. I think that's what I will do. This is still at 2800, so that's gotta go. Still gotta deal with that part Naga, though, and that's gonna be frustrating. I think I might have something in play if I do this. So I can do this during either player's turn. You gonna try to rush me in attack mode again? Look at this again. Yeah, I can do this now. Yes, yeah, so activate Petal Elf. There, that just rendered your battle phase completely useless. Let me just do this now. This could get me a pretty uh, nasty go at things.
observe. Change the face up attack position. I will go with this one. Then they will all get destroyed. I think I'm approaching this in the right order, am I? Okay, I might have to feel too full. I don't want a special summon if my field is full. So I'll select this one. Wait, can I cancel? No, I can't cancel now. If I have to cancel, I might as well select this one. Or confirm. We just got nothing! You just got nothing! I think I got it set up a good way. I finally got it set up the way I want. He's got nothing to work with! Oh, damn! Finally got what I need! Alright, that's game, Yuya. Oh, got the setup I needed with my prediction princesses. Took a while, but we did it. Oh, so in this one I gotta play as Aura again, but I'm taking on Moonshadow next. Looks more like someone out of Naruto than Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, let me stop here. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.